Hello, my name is Abby Heber, and for this week's discussion on denominational diversity, I decided to look into Lutheranism. So to begin this conversation and journey into the denomination, we need to go back in time to the 16th century in Germany, where the roots of Lutheranism took hold. It all began with Martin Luther, a German monk whose 95 theses nailed to the church door in 1517 ignited the Protestant Reformation. Luther challenged the Catholic Church's practices and emphasized salvation by faith alone, not by works. His ideas quickly spread, leading to the formation of a new branch of Christianity known as Lutheranism. Lutheranism soon spread across Europe. By the 18th and 19th centuries, Lutheran immigrants from Germany and Scandinavia began arriving in the United States. They established congregations and communities, particularly in the Midwest, and their presence is still notable today with approximately 7 million Lutherans in North America. In the United States, Lutheranism is represented by several denominations, the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America, also known as ELCA, the Lutheran Church of Missouri Synod, LCMS. Globally, Lutheranism has a vibrant presence beyond North America. In Europe, it is deeply rooted in countries like Germany, Sweden, Norway, and Finland. In Africa, the Lutheran Church is growing actively with substantial communities in Tanzania and Ethiopia. In Australia and parts of Asia, Lutheran churches are also active, reflecting the global reach of the denomination. Lutheranism is grounded in a set of doctrinal standards outlined in the Book of Concord, which was published in 1580. Key doctrines include justification by faith alone, the authority of scripture, and the belief of two sacraments, those being baptism and Eucharist. So in their worship, Lutherans typically follow a liturgical format that includes hymns, scripture readings, and sacraments. While traditional hymns and formal structure are common, Many congregations, especially today in the 21st century, are introducing much more contemporary worship styles. Lutheran polity or church government varies slightly among denominations, but typically involves a balance of congregational autonomy as well as church oversight. Local congregations are often governed by elected councils, while broader synods or church bodies provide guidance and coordination. For more information concerning the historical roots of Lutheranism, I looked into the work Lutheran Theology, a Critical Introduction by Paul Hinlicky. I would recommend this text as well as the website, Ernest Miller White's Library, Louisville, Kentucky. Their website was extremely helpful in gathering all the information for this discussion. From its Reformation roots to its global presence today, Lutheranism has significantly shaped Christianity with its commitment to faith, education, and community service, whether from its rich worship practices, doctrinal teaching, active engagement, and social issues, Lutheranism continues to make a profound impact on both religious life and societal development around the world, and particularly in the United States. Edmund Jacob Wolf had much to say about integration and influence in the United States of Lutheranism in his work, The Lutherans in America, a Story of Struggle, Progress and Influence, and Marvelous Growth. For further reading, I would highly recommend his work as well as WHT's Luther's Relation to Lutheranism and the American Lutheran Church, which was published in the American Journal of Theology. Though I'm not Lutheran, this mini deep dive helped me appreciate the various denominations within Christianity and the devotion of followers of Christ. Much like the biblical principles and study of history Liberty University adheres to, this research project helped remind me to remain unbiased, honest, and objective in my research. Thank you very much for listening. I look forward to viewing and reading all of your discussions and having some discourse in the comments, so thank you.